His videos are different. Can't take this. I know what to do. You'll never see me coming. I've got a question. If you'd hear me out, out in your defense, you never had a chance. Nice song. So tell me straight. Jarvis, do me a favor, reduce the volume a bit and test this crap. Phew, it works! As always, pleasure watching you work, sir. So, what's next? Well done with the latest Coolpad Note 5 review. Lot of good feedback pouring in. Great, good to hear. Of course, your haters are increasing. Haha, <laughs> good to hear that too. Shows we are growing. But sir, it's better to be careful. Don't you worry. Begin calibration of Mark X. Let me know the progress. Now that we are done with this crap, let's work on our next video. Sir. <sighs> Sir, we have been attacked. Status! Two choppers, heavily armed. Who is it? Locating. Jarvis, deploy Mark X! Sir, Mark X is not fully combat ready. Do it now! I'm the best. Jarvis, where's my flight power? Working on it, sir. This is a prototype. Damn! That was fun. Sir, I have located. It's Mandarin. I'm not stopping. Jarvis, get me a drink. Mandarin flavor. <laughs> Music. Sir, nothing to worry. My scan indicates it's a drone delivery from Amazon Prime. The Mato G4 Plus and other gadgets you have bought. Time for my next review video. Jarvis, begin diagnostics. Sir, should I alert the other YouTubers after all this? What's up guys, section here back with another video. Many of you have been nagging me for the Moto G4 Plus review. Finally, it's here. Despite being impressive at launch, it had some heating issues. Now, it has been quite a few months. Does it still have the same issues? Let's find out. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing review of the Moto G4 Plus and let you guys know if you can consider it. Let's get started. Here we have the box. Comes in two versions, 16GB with 2GB RAM and 32GB with 3GB RAM. This is the 32GB version. Here's the phone. Let's move on. A charger adapter called Turbo Charger. Basically fast charging. Basic pair of earphones, a micro USB cable. Holy that's a truckload of manuals, which I'm sure many won't be reading anyways. So that's about the box. Let's fire up the device and take an overview before moving in depth. The design of the Moto G4 Plus is not something new. On the front, we have the 5.5 inch display with the front facing camera, sensors and earpiece with speaker combined. Front bottom we have the microphone and a small fingerprint scanner. There is no physical touch controls, they are on screen. It does have a hidden LED light, however it is disabled by default. You can only enable it by rooting the device which is totally weird. Why can't it be a simple on off? Come on, it's just a tiny light. On the right we have the power button and volume rocker control. Left there is nothing. Bottom we have the micro USB port in the center. Top center we have the 3.5mm audio slot. At the back we have the rear camera with laser autofocus, a dual tone flash, a secondary microphone and the motor branding. Now the back is removable which houses the dual micro sim slot. If you have a nano sim no worries the device comes with a nano to micro adapter which is nice. It's a 4G voltage supported device and geo works. We have also a separate micro SD card slot for storage expansion. Supports up to 128 GB. So that's about the device. I have been using this device for a while and on numerous requests from many of you, here are a few things that will help you decide if you can consider this. First is the design and build quality. The phone has a plastic build with a metal rim around. 
If you want a premium looking phone, then does this look like one? Definitely not. Phones below 10,000 have started looking more premium. But the thing to note here is the Moto G4 Plus has a water repellent nano coating, which means basically it is not fully waterproof, but can resist minor splashes and those accidental water or coffee spills. Again, repeating, not waterproof. Don't dip it. <laughs> Being plastic, it is very light in weight and also thin. The back has this nice texture that gives a grippy feel when you hold the device. The phone comes in two colors, black and white. Overall on the design, I would say it is average. Next is the display. It comes with a 5.5 inch HD display with a pixel density of 401 ppi and the resolution is 1920 into 1080. The display is bright and sharp. Good for everyday use. Has Gorilla Glass protection. Nah, I won't be doing that folks. <laughs> The viewing angles are good in indoor and in direct sunlight. Color reproduction is also good, though not many settings to play with. Touch is super responsive. I'm not a fan of on-screen controls, so that is the only thing that I don't like. Overall, a good display, I won't crib much. Next is the performance. Moto G4 Plus is powered by the Snapdragon 617 CPU, clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's an octa-core chip bundled with Adreno 405 GPU. Has 3 GB RAM in this model. The phone overall does good on the performance front given its specs. Here is the benchmark score. Handles everyday multitasking with ease, the interface is smooth, watching videos, taking photos, playing music and games, did well. On the gaming, I tested it with some high-end games and it handled it well in medium settings. Games such as Nova 3, Mortal Kombat, Asphalt 8 played pretty smooth with minor frame drops on high settings. But, but, I know guys, heating, what about heating? <laughs> Of course, the device still has heating issues on extended use. Nothing has changed, which I'll explain a little more as we move forward. So yeah, if your use is not heavy and is basic everyday multitasking, then this device should get you through easily. Also, it comes with basic sensors, accelerometer, gyro and ambient light. So yeah, no compass. Overall, on the performance part, this is only suited for basic everyday use. Next is the software. Moto G4 Plus comes with Android Marshmallow out of the box. This is close to stock version with minor tweaks here and there. So if you love plain Android, then you will like this. Nothing fancy or colorful with the UI. Navigating around the UI was good with no lags. RAM management is also good. Has some nice options such as chop to flash, flip for DND, pick to stop ringing, twist to start camera. Pretty useful and handy. Motorola is about to bring the Nougat update to this device which should hit pretty soon. Hope they get to that ASAP and hope it fixes some issues. We'll keep you guys posted if that happens. For now, it's just Marshmallow. Overall, on the software, I'm happy. Next is the camera. This is stellar. The rear comes with a 16 megapixel shooter with dual tone flash and on the front we have a 5 megapixel shooter. The camera is unbeatable still in its range. I'm so impressed with the camera. The app is simple yet offers both auto and manual controls. You can shoot up to 1080p videos with the rear and front. The impressive part is you have screen flash option for taking those low light selfies. Though rear does not have optical image stabilization, the software stabilization does a pretty good job. You can shoot slow-mo videos and also take panorama shots. On the focusing, it has laser autofocus and while taking pictures, it helps a lot. But in my test, while taking video, it was indeed slow. In low light, it struggles a bit, but still way better than what others offer. Now many would be by this time screaming, Sean, what about the heating while using the camera, blah blah blah. Guys, patience, I'll be talking about it as we move forward. Before that, let's take a moment and check out some sample shots, raw, unedited. I'm recording this using the front facing camera of the Moto G4 Plus and the audio is also through that. I get a pretty good idea. Let me go 360. And guys, this is an indoor artificial lighting. In low light condition.
Overall, on the camera, I'm extremely happy. If you love taking photos, this is a delight, best in its range. Next is the fingerprint sensor. Placed in the front, it is small and fast. Unlocks the device quick. Let's try it. One, two, three. As you can see, it was very fast and works 9 out of 10 times. Does it work with moisture in hands? No harm trying. Let's try it. Wow, impressive. Oil again? Anything for you guys. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Disappointing part is, apart from unlocking the device, I do not see any other feature to use with the sensor. Overall, a decent fingerprint sensor that does its job. Next is the storage with OTG support. Moto G4 Plus comes in two models, 32 and 16 GB storage inbuilt. This is the 32 GB model and on first boot you get approximately 25 GB free. Since you get a separate SD card slot, you can expand the storage up to 128 GB with a micro SD card. Format as internal and used to store files, photos and apps. Supports OTG, so you can use a micro USB OTG adapter to connect pen drives, share files, videos, basically access them directly from the pen drive without moving into the phone storage. Also supports reverse charging where you can charge up other devices. Connecting wireless keyboard and mouse also works. Overall on the storage, I am happy. Next is the battery. At its core, the device comes with a 3000mAh battery with quick charging support. Though it might seem a little less compared to what competitors offer, at this range, it still serves well on everyday use. On normal use, you can push it to a day long, but heavy use, no. When I say heavy use, high-end gaming, watching videos for extended time, etc. The software is well optimized and has a few battery saving options. In my test with a bit of gaming, multitasking, social media, etc., I was able to pull it to almost a day on complete charge. Fast charging adapter is provided in the box. Charging up the device from 0 to 100 takes approximately 1 hour and 45 minutes. Overall, on the battery, I am happy. Now some generic things. Moto G4 Plus has FM radio for all radio lovers. The audio output via the front speakers is loud. Output via the 3.5mm slot is also good. Call quality is excellent. On the pricing, it is priced at $14,999 and $13,499 respectively. Alright, now many have asked me about the heating. When this device got launched, it had severe heating issues with extended use. Motorola pushed several updates and did that help? Sadly no guys, nothing much has changed. Slight improvements you do feel but nothing major. Still, the phone gets heated even with 15 minutes of continuous gameplay, so if you are a gamer, you will have to battle a lot of heat. Touches close to 45 degrees, even 46 and in some cases I even crossed 47, 48. Also while shooting videos, say for 10 minutes, it touched almost 42 degrees, but while photos I had no issues. This will be an issue only if you shoot videos for extended time. Coming to what is known as ghost touch and screen detention. Screen detention I did not have any issues with my unit, this is a retail unit from Amazon. However, on Ghost Touch, yes, I did notice that. In my test, the device behaved crazily when the battery is low and uh, when it was connected to the wall charger. It's an on and off issue, does not happen all the time. Hope Motorola can fix that up. So yeah, the heating issue is still there and be ready to battle some heat if you push the device hard. Now if you ask me, can I consider this device? The only reason from my end to recommend this device is for its camera performance. It is awesome. If you love taking good photos, then you will be happy. But if you are a gamer or even a heavy user, then of course you can use this device, but you will have to battle some heat. Don't trip about it. You knew the device will heat up and I told you that. <laughs> Hope in case no get gets rolled out for this device, Motorola can address this if it is not a hardware related issue. Now who can buy this? If your day to day use with this device is basic multitasking like calls, browsing, social media and taking photos, then you can definitely consider this. For a little extra, you get way better options in terms of performance, build and value for money. So choose wisely. Hope this video is informative to know more about the Moto G4 Plus. If you have any questions, of course you will have. Post them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and guys, don't forget to subscribe. Ah, you all think you can save him? <laughs> Until you guys don't support by subscribing, people like Mandarin will win over. You decide.